Hi, this is Burr Stewart, and for something a little different today, we wanted to show you an annotated run-by of a through freight heading from Seattle to Vancouver, B.C. I'd also like to honor Paul Scholes, who built the module that this train is running through. And this video came about because we were preparing to run a 70-car train, and we needed to get the main line cleared out. So we moved this train from Burlington Yard up to Bellingham staging on the way to Vancouver. And I thought I would take the opportunity to let you watch this beautiful scenery as well as to tell you about all the cars and locomotives in this train. So let's start out with these three locomotives. I purchased them 10 years ago. The first one is Atlas. The second one is an Atherm Genesis. And I believe the third is an Atlas with a Cato drive, which I installed a BCC decoder in. These first two box cars, a box and a reefer, were supposed to be left in Burlington. I don't know how they got in the train. The British Columbia car is an inner mountain, and the reefer is full of frozen foods from Everett. The pipe gun is headed to the Alberta tar sands, and the two idler flats are from Exact Rail and Inner Mountain. These cement hoppers are going to Bellingham. They come from Cato, Inner Mountain, and Atlas. The NP and GN gondolas are going to American Traders Company in Vancouver. The lifelike tank is going to Bellingham, as is the Atlas NP box, and the AccuRail GN boxcar. The Inner Mountain, Katie and Inner Mountain boxcars are all going to Powell River from the Seattle Times Press. And this Atherin Genesis reefer with sound is going to ice cap frozen foods in Vancouver. The next eight cars are going to Ferndale, an Inner Mountain box, three tanks from Inner Mountain and Atherin, a Milwaukee bulkhead flat from Atherin, a BN bulkhead flat from Roundhouse, an SPS boxcar from Bowser, and a silver tank car from Proto 2000. The Inner Mountain Slurry Tank Car is going to Invermere, BC, and this last plug door is from Moloko, and it's going to Ferndale. The Caboose is a classic Atlas model that I purchased in 2015. And there you have it. We don't just run trains, we ship freight. One of these days we're going to relax. Just don't hold your breath. Of course, if you held your breath, you couldn't relax either. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what's in a train really quickly, but that train was going too fast. I hardly had time to get a word in edgewise. But at least I have my locomotives all set to a maximum speed of 30 miles an hour. Imagine how hard that would have been if it had been going any faster. Well, now that the train is gone, we can give homage to Paul Scholes, who built this module for his book, Building Realistic Scenery with Paul Scholes, which was published by Karstens and then White River. So I hope you've enjoyed this short and intense video, and we'll look at the rest of the videos on my channel. Who knows, maybe one day we'll get to relax together. In the meantime, this is Burr Stewart, wishing you much fun with trains.